What is going on you guys? It is right here and today I'm going to be talking about Black Clover episode 119 and boy oh boy was that episode amazing. It was extremely different. It was epic, filled with action. Literally the type of episode that I would enjoy it. and I'm pretty sure millions would have enjoyed it as well. But before that guys, if this is your first time here and you enjoy anime, discussions, reviews, theories and AMVs, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into it. So as I already mentioned, this was an epic fight. It was extremely epic. It was not an easy fight though because the devil was overpowered and I still think the devil race is way overpowered compared to all the other races and that's just an unfair advantage. How come the bad guy always gets the unfair advantages and the cool power-ups, you know? That's just not fair but it's always like that. When Asta was trying to get possessed or use the devil power he has within, I thought for a second there that he would get possessed or taken over by that devil because he seemed like he was gonna lose it. I mean at some point he even grew up worn if I'm not mistaken which is kind of creepy but as everyone suspected Asta with his anti-magic spell that he has was the only person that would have been able to hurt the devil which he did at some point they managed to get close to him and Asta actually cut open the devil well part of him but of course devils are able to relocate their hearts and of course the only way you can kill one is by cutting their hearts or destroying their hearts one important piece of information that we got in this episode is that the first Wizard King actually confirmed that Yuno really is the baby or the reincarnation of Lyft and the first Wizard King's sister, the princess. So yeah, the first Wizard King really did confirm that, but we don't know who Asta is. Where the hell did Asta come from and why does he have a demon inside of him? So we have no, no absolute no clue to Asta's origins. That's kind of worrying because at I really thought that he has some connection to Lyft, but apparently Asta has no connection whatsoever to Lyft. Oh guys, I can't contain myself, I'm really gonna have to fanboy about Yami because you guys have to admit that that scene was epic, it was just amazing. Yami, I think in that moment he learned Mana Zone, so everything around him, he was able to feel everything around him, and he actually used his Dimension Slash, and that was actually what tipped the battle in their favor so props to Yami he's one epic dude he, he just never ceases to amaze me Yami is I'm still thinking I'm still hoping that Yami gets to become the next wizard king but I don't know I don't think he's up for it because he's you know he's a slacker he he doesn't want that much responsibility or attention on him but I really hope that one day he can become the wizard king because he's just that epic but boy oh boy guys, Asta really managed to slice that demon up in half and cut his heart in the process. So Asta actually managed to defeat this devil. And what was amazing was that before Asta cut the devil up, the devil saw inside his eye, you could have seen that he saw the other devil laughing and he was as he was about to cut him open. So I'm really curious to who this devil is and why hasn't he taken over Asta and you know destroyed humanity just like this one. So yeah, I, I'm i thinking that this devil wants to like be a good guy potentially, but I don't know, we have to wait and see for that. But yeah guys, that was all I have for this one, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and of course, this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye guys.